All right, all right, all right. We are live, we are recording, and we are ready to rock and roll. Welcome to How to Earn $5,000 a Week Without Making Outbound Calls. This is probably one of our, we're, we're expecting about 600 to 1,000 agents to be live during this webinar tonight. We had a ton of register, appreciate all the participation, and excited to deliver this specific topic. When it comes to sales training, right, I've got a deep passion for helping insurance agents succeed. Okay, so I'm gonna give a bunch of ideas tonight. I'm gonna share things that I used to do in the field or over the phone that most people don't know about. Okay, there's gonna be a few things that you haven't heard a lot on my YouTube videos I'm gonna talk about today as people continue to jump in. Okay, also, um, Dylan, Andy, Brett, Derek, everybody that's on that, that that's helping from a staff perspective on this, watch those numbers. Um, again, we're, we're only allowed 1,001 attendees live in the webinar, so please check that out and please keep a close eye on that, all right? So uh, I want to jump into why this title. This is a pretty lucrative, aggressive, focused title that got a lot of attention from a lot of you, and you're like, dude, I want, like, I had people texting me three weeks ago saying, dude, I wish the webinar was right now. And the big reason why this specific title is there's a lot of insurance agents just absolutely hate making calls. They, 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 either, they either hate actually making them or frankly, they just suck at making them, right? They either hate doing it or they're just not any good at doing it, right? So I don't know if that's you specifically when it comes to making calls, all right? My, my, my phone is getting a little deflated. We're gonna have to, to, to air that up. Uh, but most people are like, dude, I, I'm scared of this thing. It's like a 500 pound gorilla and I don't want to pick it up, you know, or, or it's not that I don't like using it. I'm just not any good at it. I, when I do use it, I don't have results. Right. Okay. So, um, also let me know in chat that you can see me. Okay. Um, somebody said, Hey, no video. Uh, looks like, um, everybody else is good, but just want to be sure. Okay. So, uh, let's make sure we, let's have somebody check that out. Okay. So. Good to go. Thank you, John. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Um, so let, let's jump into, right, so, so, so the, the main reason for that is if you can earn $5,000 a week without having to pick this up at all and actually make an outbound call per se, right, how would you do, how would you do that? How would you go about that? So I'm going to break down um, the different ways I did it, the actual different ways that you can do it, uh, the math behind the numbers. And also the actual scaling piece of this. How would you scale an operation where you don't have to actually dial the phone and, and, and make an outbound call? You know, because when I was a new agent, I, I would spend hours on a Sunday making cold calls, hours on Saturday mornings and Sunday afternoons, literally calling the flipping phone book to try to get appointments because I didn't know what to do, how to do it, any details about it, but I knew that I needed. To get in front of people i knew that without appointments or without people in front of me without people to talk to that it would not matter all right so again appreciate you being a part of this i'm gonna bring some energy i'm gonna bring some swag and i'm gonna have some fun tonight all right so my goal for this my goal for this webinar is that you leave this webinar saying i'm committing to being successful i'm committing to actually doubling down and really growing this thing i'm committing to spending some money to scale my operation. Okay, so if that's you and you're like, I will invest money, I am serious, I do wanna commit, I am ready to go, and I absolutely want to make this a career that, that lasts and works because 92% of agents fail. There are more millionaires in this industry than any other industry in the world, but most people don't really ever commit full force and then they, they end up being a statistic. And I, I, I do stuff like this because I don't want you to be a statistic. I want you to be uber successful and I want you to be able to take training like this and apply it into your business immediately. All right. That's what I want for you. OK, so that's my goal for this. I'm a big goal guy. Thank you, Brett. I'm a big goal guy. And that's one of the big reasons why I always start uh, with, with, with a goal for a webinar, for an event, for, for anything. Like we do a percent nation and I'm speaking in front of a thousand insurance agents walking around with a mic running around like a crazy man. I'm I'm. I'm saying what my goal is for the event because everything I do, I want to have a goal. That's a nugget, by the way. Everything you do, you must have a goal. Also, if you're checking this thing out and you want to share it on social, Facebook, Instagram, um, Cassidy, please keep an eye on that. For I, I want to pick a couple people that, that share it on Instagram and also a couple people that share it on Facebook 
um, maybe LinkedIn. Okay, we're getting more active on LinkedIn. I want to pick a few people, and I want to either give them a free call with me or give them some money, you know, $25 gift card, Starbucks, Venmo, whatever. I want, I want, to, I want to give some stuff out for, being, for you guys sharing this out on social. Okay, so I don't care if it's a story, it's a post, whatever, right? So, so appreciate you being on. I'd love for you to do that. Okay, so I, I want to go over the different ways, the different ways of, of not making calls. Okay, but, but these are the different ways that I did it. I'm going to go over a lot of different ways of how you can do it now, and it's actually expanded. It's gotten better. Okay, but I'm going to give you the different ways that I personally did this. Anytime I had success or made five grand in a week without actually making calls, these are different ways that I did it. Okay, so when I first started as an agent, um, I did something called call nights. Okay, so so I would with these call nights, by the way, I do believe it probably still work, by the way. Okay. I, I would bring over college kids every Monday night from about 5 30 to 8 30. And, and I would grab three, four, two, three, four, five college kids, and I would pay, I I I, I would I would give them um, so much money per appointment. I would call with them, by the way. Okay, so you know, I wasn't totally out of the woods, but I wanted to, you know, help them and motivate them and, and, and lead by example because I was never afraid of this. Okay, and I would give, uh, I would buy pizza, I would give away, you know, gift cards, I would give them money if they actually started to uh, set some appointments. I'd give them ten dollars for the first appointment, ten dollars for the second appointment, and then twenty dollars for the third appointment, and twenty dollars for every appointment after that. Okay, so if they set five appointments in a night. I'd also give 20 bucks to the person that set the most appointments for the night. Okay, and, and when that happened, well, let's just say that, that they were at 10, 10, 20, 20, 20, that's 80 bucks, 20 bucks for being the winner of the night and leading it. And a college kid that's, you know, 20 years old will walk out of there with, you know, a hundred bucks for like three hours of work. And they're like, holy freak, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Unbelievable, right? But I would give them, um, I, I, the things I would give them, I would give them a script, okay? I would give them a phone. I would give them um, a list. I would give them a cubicle. I would give them a chair. And if they started, you know, they, 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 they needed some energy, I would take it away. Um, and, and then I would give them, um, you know, a, a, a place, uh, also some tips, some top tips of how to make calls, you know, some of the things, the do's and don'ts of making calls, some simple stuff, like stick to the freaking script for starters. And we would do this and I'd have two, three, four, five, six, you know, et cetera. And I remember leaving there those call nights with eight, 12, 16, 20, sometimes even as many as 24 appointments. We'd have six of them averaging four a piece over two or three hours. And I got to where I got to where I could literally, I could literally set up my entire week from a call night. Because you got to remember, I was, I was 19 years old, 20 years old. I was in college. I was playing basketball, practices, games, tournaments. I was taking 21 credit hours a semester. Like I was putting in a lot of time in, in, in already, right? I was a part-time agent. I was a, I was a full-time agent that wasn't able to work full-time. So, so I remember trying to get creative on how do I book my week because I knew without appointments, I could not make sales. Okay, so I'm going to do the math in a little bit, but this is what I did. I used call nights. I also remember... Um, having an assistant or even a full-time telemarketer that would book leads for me um, and I would get to where I would get to where I would well, I would I would have three appointments in Arkansas on a Saturday from leads that I would go see you know and so I, I tried to really I, I wanted to focus on selling you know like like the, the, the what, what you should be great at is selling right with a sales system and getting really good at actually closing deals because the, the main reason people fail is that it, it, they, either, they either don't get in front of enough people or, or they can't close deals, right? Their sales ability is lacking. If you can find a system to get in front of people and then couple it with actual sales training and developing and improving, then you've got a match made in heaven. Okay, so I would do those things. Um, I also got to where I had a call center at one point um, that would actually, actually sold my equity in that and, and that would actually create uh, we would have openers that would create live transfers. So we would cold call. In this example, we would cold call all over the state of Missouri and people that were 65 plus, and we would cold call about Medicare, and then they would 
get so far in the script and then live transfer to me. And I got to where I was closing, selling MedSup and final expense um, cold, from, from cold, literally no leads, no age data, no, no new leads, straight actual cold calls. I got to where I could close about 40 policies a month on my own from just taking cold calls uh, and, and actually dialing, you know, MedSup and final expense. Uh, actually selling my separate file expense over the phone. Okay, so um, the other ways I even had, I even had someone that was, uh, I even had someone that would actually, I had one guy that would set my appointments. He would also drive them, to, drive me to my appointments because I was running a couple different businesses back then, and I would get to where literally I just showed up and closed deals, you know, and that was it, you know. Um, I've got to where I've had telemarketers in the Philippines. Like if you, if there's, you can't mention something that I haven't tried or done or been a part of or coached someone on. Okay. So these are different ways that I did it. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the different ways, the different ways that someone could do this, even if they're not me, you know, even if they're like, dude, I, I, I'm, I, I don't care about the ways that you used to do it. I want to know how I can do it now. Right. And I'd love to, any in, 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 any of those students get in the business? Uh, what's up, Tony G? Uh, Charlene, um, ye, actually, I believe one. I believe uh, one or two of them did. So it was a good recruiting tactic because they could see how much money you could make. Um, also, if at any point, uh, yo, what's up, Clay? If at any point during this, um, you're like, man, I I need my sales training to improve, then feel free to go to CodyAskins.com. It's in it's in chat, and I put it here. It's spelled with an S on the end, cells, because you don't want to make one cell. You want to make a lot of flipping cells, right? So go to CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system, all right? Sales system. CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system if you want to know more information about how to become better at selling over the phone, in person, closing deals, building rapport, overcoming objections running the sales process, warming up, fact-finding, presenting, building value, trial closing, understanding the buyer, the psychology of sales. Uh, did I mention objections, right? Big thing people struggle with is objections. I've got process for all that stuff in this new sales system that I'll make sure that I talk about later in the webinar. Okay, so those are different ways that someone could, could be successful and how I did, okay, and how I did. Now, before I get to the actual math and how to scale it, let me give you some different ideas on how you can consistently get in front of people. And that's the number one people struggle, the number one people think, the thing people struggle with is they struggle to get in front of people. Okay, they struggle to get in front of people. So I'm gonna give you some different ideas on how you consistently, consistently get in front of people without actually having to pick up the phone yourself. Okay, so make sure you're taking some notes. I'm about to get in that. Okay, so, so you yourself could do some call nights. Okay, where you recruited some callers and it was just one night a week and it was a local thing. You recruited people from church or college or work, you know, another office or, you know, Facebook, whatever, right? Okay, that, that worked for me, by the way. A lot of people are too lazy to figure that one out. Everything I do, everything I do, I wasn't really the best at it when I first started doing it, but the difference in me and a lot of people that fell in this industry or that fell at recruiting people to call nights is I didn't give up. You know, maybe I got one to the first one. Maybe I got two to the second one. Maybe maybe one of them hated it and was back to one. Maybe the next time I had three, you know. And so I was really creating this pool of people that I had 30 people I could go to to grab a few, you know. Like, like it's it's a, everything's a numbers game. And if you got three people to go to, well, if one or two can go, then then I, I always wanted at least three or more. I, five was perfect. Five we got some buzz going, like, like people were excited, people were making money, people were setting appointments, we didn't have to go along without appointments being set. I was able to jump on calls, calls and close some appointments, uh, but it was a very simple deal. We were calling, it was consistent, it was very simple. Call nights can still work, by the way. That's an idea for, to, for to, you, know, you to recruit people to do the work for you. Okay, now, you could also, you could also, um, you could also hire an opener. Okay, you can hire an opener to actually call your leads for you, live transfer them, or set appointments for you. Okay, and when I'm talking about an opener, you can recruit someone from overseas, you can recruit a local single mom, you can do, you know, whatever. But but that's where someone is actually paid 
either by the hour or per appointment to literally tee you up, right? Back in tee ball, you would put the tee up, you would set the ball on top and you'd, you know, you'd hit it. That's it, that's, that's it. They're freaking setting the ball on the tee. They're setting up the tee, they're putting the ball on it and it's your job to, to hit it, right? And hitting it is closing. Most people, that's a big thing they struggle with. Actually closing deals down right away. Big thing people struggle with. And I'd love to know in chat if you feel like closing deals is something that you struggle with. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people um, struggle with closing deals. And, and it's better, it's better to be honest. You know, it's better to be honest. Um, what was the system used when hiring telemarketers? There's a, a website called onlinejobs.ph. Um, on the call nights where the telemarketers paid it all by the hour or just by appointment just by appointment So I would pay them. I would pay them ten dollars per appointment For the first one and the second one and then I would pay them 20 per appointment for the third one and Everyone after that Okay, so if they set three they made 40 bucks right 10 10 20 also the top person out of the group would make an additional bonus for the night, okay, it would make an additional bonus for the night. Um, when starting out, most agents do not have money for overhead costs such as leads or callers. Well, if if you're um, only paying ten bucks per appointment and they're ten ninety nine, they're not an employee. Then, you know, I'll help you rob a bank and come up with you know sixty bucks, eighty bucks, whatever. Okay, um, appreciate you being on, buddy. Good question. Closing is the biggest hurdle that I still face. Yeah, Jason, that's common, man. That's the biggest thing agents struggle with right now. I was just coaching a, uh, an agent earlier. I believe he may be on this, the WG man. Um, and he's still struggling with closing deals down. Like people are saying, I want to think about it. I want to call me back. or I don't know if I can afford the money or, you know, I want, I want to talk to my kid or, you know, come back next week or I'm not sure I want to do it, you know, whatever. Like people struggle with closing deals down. I mean, I'm here to tell you when it comes to sales training, you have to believe like whatever you believe this this is this is this is proven by the way most people don't think like this but it's proven you want to take notes on this you the prospect is always going to believe or be or, or their confidence level or want to do it and, and they're going to be right below how you feel about it right the prospect's always going to be right below in their belief and their mentality and their confidence they're going to be right below where you are by the way right below where you are so if you're on a scale of one to ten on the certainty scale right a one to ten on the certainty scale on whether they're going to do business with you today if you're a seven guess what the prospect for p is probably going to be like a four or a five okay but if you are a ten or at least a nine then maybe maybe you can get them to be a six or seven you know so that's the thing about closing is your confidence right the three c's for for closing confidence certainty and conviction confidence certainty and conviction how is your confidence level is it high you're going to close a lot of deals how's your certainty are you certain they're going to do a business with you today okay how is that and then conviction that's freaking internal belief I believe in what I'm selling. I know I'm helping people. I know I'm doing the right thing. And I'm certain they're going to do it. And I'm confident in my ability to get it done. Right? That's the three C's when it comes to actually closing deals and being confident in that approach. And everybody's different. Not everyone is extremely confident in that way. But I'm telling you, you absolutely have to be. You absolutely have to be. I, I, I was doing business in Missouri back then, by the way. Um, uh, oh, WG's on. Present. Present. Uh, why is closing so hard? You know what? Uh, I think it depends on what product you're selling, how you're pitching it, your sales ability, how much you train. Like if you don't train every day, you're going to be worse at closing than others. I'm just telling you, that's just, that's just straight up. Um, and most, most people don't have a system to plug into that teaches them the actual steps to improving. People get in this business and they think they're going to succeed and be amazing and everything else. And they don't realize that, hey, I've got to like put some effort into this. I've got to try. I've got to want to get better. I've got to want to improve. It's not going to fall on my lap. You know, it's just not going to fall on my lap. Um, do you have a script for the opener? Uh, I do. It's in Telesales, our Telesales Mastery membership. Um, Derek can probably post the link if he wants. Um, it's it's uh, Telesales Mastery membership. You can go to CodyAskins.com and, and find that as well. Okay. 
Um, interesting approach. I like door knocking 20 fresh leads. Good, good. You know what? That is literally a way to avoid actually making calls as I keep dropping my markers, okay? Um, is to where you can actually do some, uh, some door knocking. You know, you can actually do some door knocking. So I'm gonna throw that up there. That's a good idea, you know? Uh, thanks, bro. Um, I'm gonna throw that up there, okay? So that's good. And I'll get to some of the questions in a second, right? That, yeah, you don't wanna make outbound calls? You can door knock, right? You can, and you can door knock fresh leads. And you're like, well, I can't door knock right now. Well, some states you can't, you know? I don't know, I'm, I'm not the state, so I, it's not up to me. Uh, fresh leads, age leads. Um, I know people that door knock, people that are turning 65, and every 25 doors, for every 25 doors that they knock on, they typically get one sell, okay? So that's not for everybody, that's different. Um, by individual, but people that sell that door knock for Medicare that, that literally every 25 doors they make a sell. Okay, so so that's a way to do it without actually making calls. You're gonna have to actually make calls. You're door knocking. Um, that's good. Um, yeah, yeah. What's up, Lori? Um, all right, good. So opener door call nights, hire an opener, door knocking. Another way. Another way. Uh, not my favorite way, uh, live transfers. I would rather, I would rather create my own. I would rather create my own instead of, instead of buying. Okay. I would rather, I'd rather create my own instead of buying them from somewhere else. Cause you buy them somewhere else. You can pay 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 bucks for a transfer. And it's hard to back into the ROI if you're not closing some deals. I'm going to break down all the numbers in a second, by the way. Okay? We're going to break down all the numbers. Okay. Also, um, the next way is our new number one insurance sales tool, Samson. It will actually, when a new lead comes in, this is really cool about Samson, by the way. Pay attention to this. Okay. If you have interest in this, you can email me, Cody at Cody Askins. Okay. What happens is someone actually uh, submits your information. They become a lead. Samson actually calls you, you answer, you pick up the phone, hello Samson, and then it actually calls the lead for you. Freaking next level, crazy, high tech voodoo robot stuff, okay? Freaking amazing. That's Samson, okay, which 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 really it automates it automates actual it automates calls, text, voicemail drops, emails, and even appointment setting. It's unbelievable. It's really, really good. You haven't heard about it? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just fixed it, so you've heard about it now, okay? Um, and then and then next, right, is uh, I just show up and run appointments, you know? Whether that be in person, whether that be over the phone, whether that be set up or teed up for me, maybe I'm creating my own live transfers or maybe my opener is actually setting appointments for me, whether it's face to face or for phone sales, you're walking into a schedule. So back when I did, um, I had some weeks where I was doing over 10 grand in, in, a, in a week over the phone. What I was doing, what I was doing is I was having someone call leads for me. They were either live transferring or booking appointments. And then I was walking in to a full day of like eight to 16 appointments in one day that literally were on my calendar, that were expecting me to call them and that were prepared and ready. And they were, they knew we were gonna talk insurance, right? That doesn't get a lot better than that, you know? But that was my approach, it's a different approach, but it, but it, but it worked, you know, it worked really well, okay? And, and with appointments, you know, either they're set or they're automated. And what I mean by automated is you've got some voicemail drops, some text, and some emails that's actually going out trying to book you an appointment. You know, and what's crazy about Samson is it'll actually take them from um, interest in, for, 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 from from if they were if they respond to a text, it moves them in the stage or the pipeline to a hot lead. If they book an appointment, automatically it moves them to the booked appointment file. It's crazy good. Okay, it's really really neat. Those are a lot of the different ways that you can actually get around. I'm fixing to get into the math and how to scale this thing, right? That's the actual ways that you can immediately, immediately start to grow this thing, you know? 
were you naturally good at talking with people closing when you finally started first started or did you build up your skill from someone who used to bomb appointments when you first started um i didn't bomb appointments i got better i got pretty confident in the first 12 months uh, and i was not i was i'm a natural salesperson in just the way i talk and communicate but i wasn't the absolute best salesperson in the office when i first started it took some time but also most people don't realize this most people don't realize this when i first started okay when i first started like i'm gonna get to this in a little bit i was I was like committed to this whole sales training thing. Like I was riding around listening to Brian Tracy's The Art of Closing the Sell. I was buying online universities and video courses and sales training courses and I was just devouring that stuff in the car. And so everywhere I went, I was committed to succeeding so that I would eventually, Doug, I would eventually get really, really, really good at closing deals. Um, you, yep, you can do that. Uh, Samson, I love it. That's awesome, Lori. It, it, I mean, it's great. It, yeah, it's good for recruiting as well. Samson's unbelievable. Um, Samson's also great because we don't charge a monthly fee. We just charge to set it up for you. So you're going to save like most of most of you pay like three grand a year easy in like tech fees and stuff, which is crazy. Um, Samson is, 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 is for anybody across the country, Mike. Uh, it can also be a little bit of a CRM as well. Normally, it's more of like a sales automation marketing tool, um, but but it can host some stuff for you. Uh, you got it, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Um, how do we get Samson and what's the cost? Email me if you want interest in Samson or you want to get on the sales system either way um, or, or help with coaching or sales training or mentoring or whatever. Feel free to email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com. I love getting emails. I love responding. I love, you know, I love seeing people on Instagram that are like, you know, tagging me and, and, and they're active and they're focused and they're trying, you know, and they're trying to get this thing going. Um, I love being the dude that that's that's there to help. Okay, I absolutely love it. Uh, it's a blast. It's fun, uh, and that's what I'm here for. You know, my goal is to help every insurance agent in the world. So if I can jump on here and help you guys and provide some feedback and some ideas on how to scale this thing out, then that's what it's all about. All right. So let's look at the map. Okay, I've given you a bunch of different ideas, um, but let's look at some of the map. Some of my favorites, by the way, on that um, hiring an opener, Samson. Um, or walking into book appointments. Okay, those are some of my favorites just out of that list. All right, so let's look at some, let's, let's do the math. Okay, let's look at 5,000 bucks. And then I'm going to teach you how to scale it, by the way. Let's look at 5,000 bucks a week. Okay, now let's just say that your average commission um, per sale equals $500. All right, again, yours may be higher, it may be lower. Uh, this isn't based on product, by the way. I'm throwing out a number. You can do your own math right now while you're watching me. Okay, so do it along with me on, on your pad. Okay, so that's that's 10 cells, right? In this example, I need 10 cells per week. You're like, well, dude, that's a lot. You know, you're like, well, my closing rate's like, when I talk to somebody, let's just say you talk that you talk to someone that has good interest. They're, they're either a tra transfer or they're a booked appointment. And let's just say that you close. Um, let's just call it. 25%. Okay, let's just say that you close 25%. Right? That's one in four, which means you would need four, you would need to actually talk, you would need to actually talk to 40 people per week. Okay. You need to talk to 40. Okay. Right? You need to talk to 40. So now let's just say, well, um, let's just call it and say, well, 20% of my appointments stand me up. Or live transfers hang up on me in the first few minutes. Okay, well then in this example, right? I get it. Then you need then you need then you need 50 appointments or transfers. If 20% stand you up, then you're left with 40 people to talk to. Okay, again, general math. I'm walking you through how to break this thing down. You can do your own math to, to on the specifics. Okay. 50 appointments and transfers. Now, in that example. What would have had to happen for you to make that a reality? Now, that's 10 appointments per day, five days a week. Okay, five days a week. Now, maybe your opener or appointment setter or Samson or whatever, okay, needs to, maybe that maybe they need to. Maybe they need to talk because because they should be able to set, by the way, uh, they should be able to set 40 to 60 percent 
into actual like appointments or Zooms or transfers or whatever. Like those are some real numbers, okay? So in that example, maybe that would mean they would probably need about 80 to 120 per week, okay? Well, that's not bad because they simply need to talk to about a hand, uh, uh, about, a, about 10 to 15 a day, right, to actually make that a reality. Well, there's ways to make that a reality by actually using dialers, them calling, and them teeing you up and booking it. Now, What's crazy is if you start to break down the math of you, of you actually making this, like, like, let's just, let me just share you the actual numbers of what I did back when I had an opener calling leads for me, by the way, and they can use Samson um, and it'll help them. And, and it's Samson in general, by the way, um, one of the biggest power players in the industry, it took his closing rate on Medicare leads from 6% to 14%. It instantly increased his closing rate by 8% simply by using that product, okay, which is crazy, All right? Now, and again, information, just email me, okay? So let me, give you, let me give you another idea on what I did with an opener to make that a reality, okay? I wanted to earn, let's just say I wanted to earn five grand. Now, I was making about, um, my average sell, average life insurance sell was, was probably 75 bucks a month, 900 of annual premium. Um, so let's just call it, you know, let's just call it 900 bucks. All right. So I need like six cells. Okay. And even then I've got extra, but that's good. Right. That's fine. Okay. Six cells. Now for me to close six cells, I needed to actually talk. I need to actually talk to about 18 people. Okay. Now. But about half of my appointments, about half of my appointments, uh, I would say 40% of my appointments actually stood me up. Which means if you take 18, 18 divided by 40%, no, I'm sorry, divided by 60% to get the other number, 18 divided by 60%. That's 30. So I needed 30 set appointments per week for me to get six sales. Okay. Now I'm going to go a little deeper. Okay. Th these are my numbers. I, I don't struggle with closing deals. Okay. I've been studying, I've been studying sales and sales systems and trainings and sales trainings, right? Because the sales system, I've built a 400 course module. We're adding another uh, 38 videos this week to the sales system. It's a robust sales training platform, the number one sales training platform for the insurance industry in the world. And we are, it's for individuals or teams, and we're continuing to add to it. My teams, by the way, here, I train them every single day. Twice a day, we go through sales training. If you're not going through sales training, at least once a day, maybe twice a day, you are getting worse and you're going to struggle to close deals. I absolutely guarantee it. Okay, now, 30 set appointments. Now, the opener, he had to talk to, to, he had to talk to, to get to 30, he had about, he had about a 50% set rate. Okay, actually, I think it was probably a little higher. I think he had a, uh, we'll call it 50 to be conservative, but I think his was a little better. Okay, that means he, he had to talk, the opener, Right, had to talk to 60 per week. So for him to talk to 60, he would have to beat those pretty hard and actually um, he would have to call 120 leads, okay, in that example. And he would actually have to, uh, I'm actually, I believe it was probably closer to 100, um, anywhere from 80 to 120, let's just call it 100. But he would actually, uh, he would double and triple dial, right? So, so I was spending some dough on an opener and leads, but I was closing at least six cells, right? There was some weeks where it could, a lot, a lot, a lot of times I would actually close a dozen cells in a week and put up 10, 12, 13 K or one of them. I closed up $300 a month, you know, um, whole life policy over the phone, 
I've closed a $505 a month life insurance policy over the phone. I've closed a $750 a month life insurance policy over the phone. That, that skews the numbers, right? And you want to start selling more of those and bigger numbers, right? Then you've got to be phenomenal at sales training. Okay. Now, this was what I did back, or, or I would just jump in our old call center and sit there and take calls, you know? But, but, but that's the math behind how you do this thing. Now, how do you scale this up? Right? How do you scale this up? Let me give you a couple ideas. Most people will never actually commit to doing this, but let me give you a couple ideas. Okay, now let's just say that let's just say that you have um, like in my example, let's say that you have six openers, three closers, and you are the owner, manager, operator freaking you run all you run you run all the positions right whatever okay and in this example in this example let's just say that let's just say that every closer can do about let's just say that every opener does about um Every opener does about 16 transfers per day. 16 transfers per day. Let's just say that every closer needs eight transfers per day to make us like 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 let's say they're like a 15% closing rate and they're a little lower, so they're one in eight, one and a half in eight, whatever. Let's say that every closer that if, if that happens they get 40 transfers in a week and they end up with five five plus cells per week okay so if you do five cells times three closers and this is a very small operation by the way you're doing 15 cells per week okay in this example right you start doing the math you start averaging nine hundred thousand bucks right then 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 you're doing fifteen thousand plus of AP Per week, okay. You're 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 literally bringing in sixty thousand dollars plus per month, okay, per month. Right now, what did you need to make that a reality? You needed you needed openers. You needed and you needed closers and you needed something to call, right? You got something to call. You got openers and you got closers. Then before you know it, you've got a business, a small business of nine people, right? We've got almost 60 people here, okay? You've got a, a, probably 100 in the building. If you have nine people, 60K, guess what? You're doing, you're doing 800 grand, 800 grand a year, and you've got a small little operation going, you know? Like that's how you start to actually think about scaling and growing something and tracking the profit percentage. Like, okay, what's the profit percentage of the 5K per week in gross revenue? Yeah, I want, I want my profit, I want my profit to be a minimum, a minimum, preferably a minimum 60%, by the way. Okay, so in that example, 5K, right? Let's do that math, okay? 5K, this is how you start scaling stuff, but you gotta know these numbers, right? You gotta know these numbers where you can really start to grow something. And that's why I'm big on numbers, right? I'm, I'm consulting a call center right now that went from zero to they'll do 400 apps in July. And they just started consulting with me in April, by the way. They didn't even exist. Okay, so let, let's do that. Let's do that math, right? 5,000 bucks. If I want a minimum of 60% margin, right, then, then, then I have... Three thousand dollars left over, right? That means that I've got two thousand dollars to actually spend on um, something to call and an opener. That's weekly, and that's not very hard. Okay, let's just say that you're paying the opener, let's just say five to six hundred dollars per week. I realize that some of you are like, that's not a lot of money, and it's not. I'm in Missouri. I can get away with it, okay? Now, let's just say that also, um, maybe, so that leaves you with about 
14, let's just call it 14 to 1500 left after this. Okay. Then, then, I mean, look at that. You could have a hundred. Uh, I mean, Strategic Marketing can generate full state leads for like six, eight bucks. You know, you could have, you could probably have two, you could probably have 200 leads a week coming in, or you could actually combine it with age leads as well and do a hundred leads a week, and you could probably have a lot more money coming in. I mean, let's just do the math here, and let's just say that you did, let's just say that you only spent, let's just say you spent, um, let's just say you spent, Set, let's just say you spent like 800 bucks a week, okay? And that's a lot, by the way, that, that's a lot. You could probably spend 500 bucks a week. Okay? You could spend 500 bucks a week on new leads. Then you could also spend another, you know, let's just call it another couple hundred bucks a week on age leads for them to call something. And you've got 600 bucks a week for an opener. Okay, let's do the math, right? You're sitting there at, $1,300 per week, $5,000 minus $1,300, you're left with $3,700. You do that math, you take $3,700, by the way, divided by 5K, guess what? Now, now, we wanted a 60% profit margin. In this example, we're at a 74% profit margin, okay? That's a solid freaking number that, that I can that I can scale with. I don't want to scale with something smaller. I don't like running businesses and companies with a small profit margin. Okay, it just doesn't work. It doesn't doesn't pay off. That's the scaling piece of this, right? That's the growth piece. That's the that's that's the hey dude, I want to do something big here piece, man. Okay, um, and th those were a lot of those numbers I gave you were telesales, by the way. Okay, so far a lot of this was phone related. This wasn't even most of it wasn't even face to face stuff. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Two openers, five closers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you can you, you, every opener. By the way, every opener, every opener should. Most people don't know this, by the way. You probably think I need two um, openers for every one closer, right? Most of you are probably thinking that, right? Wrong. You actually need one opener. For every two to three closers, which means a good opener can actually find either leads, appointments, or transfers 16 to 24 per day. That's a big number that most people don't realize, right? Most people, but most of you, most of your, your standards are so, so the barrier of entry and standards are so low, or you just don't know any better, which is okay too, okay? But that's, that's my job, right? To educate you for free in hopes that you won't make some of those mistakes, right? Now, that's how you start to scale something, right? You want to think a little bigger and you're like, dude, how do I turn this into a seven figure operation? We did the math. We were at 720 a year, 60K, 12 months, $720,000 a year. You probably need, you know, you need at least four closers. Or three closers and, and you're still selling yourself, right? And now and I'm doing seven figures, you know, like come on, like that's not that's not that big, right? So every like I believe everybody can make seven figures if they're phenomenal at actually closing deals and they understand the sales process, how to train, how to educate, how to present, how to build value, how to trial close, how to pre-close, how to ask a bajillion engagement questions, how to be super assumptive, and how to close deals. Right. But but the, the next piece I'm going to talk about is the piece that most people struggle with the most. Right. And that's the actual. That's the actual sales. That's the actual closing. That's the actual objections. This is a massive thing that people struggle with right here. Objections. Right. Objections can ruin a company if you do not know how to overcome them. Right. I mean, let's keep going. Phone skills. Right. There's a lot actually. Actually understanding why, actually understanding why the prospect is giving you that really stupid objection that makes no sense that you can't overcome. Why are they giving it to you? Well, if you're not plugged in and really trying to grow and learn this thing, then you maybe wouldn't know what to do or what to say, right? For you to be a master of the art of closing deals. Over the phone, in person, selling insurance. I'm going to be a massive freaking player in this industry, whatever, right? For that to take place, you have to understand basic sales. 
You have to understand closing. You have to understand objections. You have to understand phone skills. You have to understand, right, all of these things, along with another dozen things, right? We've got, I think our cell system now has about, it's getting close to 30 different chapters, and we're adding a few more very soon, on how to be phenomenal. It's more of advanced insurance sales training. That's what it is, right? Because it, 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 you need to be advanced at this whole thing, okay? So, and you got to think about this. When I was a new agent, right, I would go to sales training I was getting sales training a lot of different ways audiobooks audiobooks books um, events I would I, I drove I drove to St. Louis for a sales training event when I was 20 years old right I invested in my business most people most people do not spend money in improving and growing and scaling Right? I talk to people all the time that do not want to spend dough in growth. You will never grow if you won't. If you won't, pull out your wallet, which I have on my desk in there, and flip and slap down a credit card every once in a while. You cannot be great at sales if you do not invest in your business. It is impossible. It's impossible. You have to continue to invest in your growth, in your ability, in your future, because for you to really blow this thing up, you're gonna be phenomenal, right? I, I would I would role play all the time, right? I would actually listen to recordings of, of actual live appointments that I ran or calls, right? I would record a lot of stuff, because I wanted to listen to get better to become, as Will Smith says, a master of the art of my craft. Most people never invest, right? Most people don't, don't. I mean, here's here's the things that really that really hold people back. Here's what here's what hold people back from actually being a master, right? Someone wants to be a master, they want to be great at selling insurance, they want to succeed at a high level. Here's the things you're gonna have to do, okay? You're gonna have to spend some money, right? You're gonna have to invest. You're going to have to be coachable, right? You're going to have to learn. You're going to have to do it, all those things daily, and you're going to have to end up plugging in to something that can make you a sales superstar. Most people don't do these things, by the way. Okay, now, here's what I'm going to do. For everybody that's on the call, on the webinar, appreciate you being on. Here's what you need to know. You ready? You ready? You ready? Here's what you need to know. I'm going to include today. I'm going to do. We've got people that can help me with this. A free strategy call. A free strategy call on how to be, how to improve your sales business, how to improve your business, how to get your team skilled up, how to close more deals how to get better at the whole gamut of this whole sales thing. I'm gonna include a free strategy call for, for the first, the first 25 agents or owners or team members or managers that go to this link, that go to this link. Right, the first 25 agents, the first 25 agents who go to CodyAskins.com slash sales system. Let me write it for you here. Okay. CodyAskins.com slash sales system. The first 25 agents who go here. We're going to give you a free strategy call so that we can strategize with you on how to, we will do it on Zoom, by the way, on how to be better and how to improve your business, right? Most people do not invest money. Most people don't want to learn. Most people don't want to improve. Most people don't want to get better at mastering the art of your craft. I'm telling you, for you to be able to do, be able to execute on this map, right? Because it's one thing, okay, it's one thing to say, dude, I want to improve, right? Here's the steps. Here's the steps. You're like, okay, I want 
I want to improve. Okay, good. Right? That means, hey, what? Guess what? You're coachable, right? I want to improve. Then, then, okay, I've got to find a solution to help me get there. Right? And what, what, what I do when I want to solve a problem in my business, I say, who can I pay to solve it for me? I do it every time. Okay. I've spent I've spent about three hundred thousand dollars over the last two years in me because I want to be the best at, at, at my business and my craft. I want to continue to be better. I want to do whatever the freak it takes to improve, right? So I improve. I, I, I want to improve, right? The need is there. I want to improve. Then I need to find some way, something that I can plug into that can make someone that I can that I can that can help me improve, right? Then, then I have to be consistent. And I have to show up every single day and, and continue to show up so that I get an ROI on my investment and I end up solving that problem. Right? Most people don't realize that any problem you have in your business, it is solvable if you will just to commit to solving it. Right? I want to improve. Check. If you want to improve, let me know in chat. All right. Let me know in chat. Okay. Also. I want to find something to help me. Wonderful, right? Put that in chat. Uh, once I find it, I'm going to be consistent and use it. Good, right? I'm going to show up every day and continue to get better. And then I'm going to, you know, make sure, because if I don't stay consistent and show up, it's going to be harder for me to get an ROI when I invest. Okay. Now, I want us to get, I want us to get serious about this for a quick second. All right. We've got several hundred still on. Okay. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you one question and I want to, I'm, going to, I'm going to ask you three questions, three questions, and I want the answers in chat, by the way. Okay, I want the answers in chat, right? You've got to make it public. You've got to put it out there. You've got to put it out in the world. You've got to believe that you, that, that, that you every goal I've ever had, I made it public. I want people to know, right? I, the first thing I do when I'm going to do something, I tell everyone I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to freaking show up and do it. Okay, now, three questions for you. Right? I want you to put them in chat and feel free to email me the answers at Cody at Cody at Cody .com if you would like. Okay. Here's the three questions real quick. Three questions real quick. On a scale from one to 10, how's your current sales ability, by the way? Current sales ability. One, dog doo-doo. 10, perfect. And you're lying. Okay. Where, where do you sit? One to 10, sales ability. Okay. Boom. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it in chat. And I want you to be honest with yourself on your current sales ability. Rachel says a four. Okay, good. You know what? She's coachable, right? She gets it. She wants to win. She wants to improve. Okay. One to 10. Perfect. Now, second question. Second question. The willingness, the willingness to improve, whether that be what, 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 what the willingness to 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 improve and get better right because the first one is hey I know I have a problem that I need to solve I'm not as good as I need to be okay that's fine now a negative one by Patricia well you know what hey a lot of room for improvement there so let's 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 spend some time improving it all right so that's the first one's a problem the second one is the second one is okay I'm I'm I actually want to get better right I have a problem I think I want to get better and I and, and the willingness to imp to go improve, right? That's the second one. Yes or no, right? I want to get better. The willingness is there. The willingness is there. Okay, now the third one is I will do, I'm gonna put W-I-T, whatever it takes, even if it in means investing money in making me better. That's what most people, most people forget this part. Most people never do it. They're like, I know I suck. I want to get better, or I know I'm not good as good as I want to be. Okay, and, but but I'm, I'm just okay. But I, I want to get better. But I don't want to actually invest to get better. Right? That, that 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 doesn't make any sense. Right? You can't identify a problem, say I want to get better, but not invest money in getting better. Right? So the last one, the last one is a yes or no. Right? This is a one to ten. This is a yes, no. This is a yes, no. Okay. One to 10 sales ability, willingness to improve. I want it. I really want it. Right. Because for me, 
I didn't have the highest sales ability. If someone asked me earlier how my ability was, right? I was a natural born salesperson, but I knew I had a lot of room for improvement for me to get great at this whole thing. Now I can jump on any call in the world and I'm probably gonna close the deal, okay? Now, that took, a, that took 12 years of commitment every single day on getting better. And we train so much here that it's like second nature now, right? One to 10, sales ability. That's identifying the problem. Willingness to improve, yes or no, and I will do whatever it takes and I'll actually invest money. Now, other thing I want you to do, when you're talking about identifying a problem, what's the biggest, what, what's the one thing when you, when you actually talk about, okay, I've got a problem that I want to fix, what do you think it is? This is the bonus question, okay? This is the bonus question. This is, I have a problem, one, two, three, and a bonus. This is, I know I have a problem. And I want to know what is it when it comes to actually the sales process. What do you need to get better at? What do you need to improve at? And how do we get you there? Right? How do you get you there? What? I mean, so 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 I want to get better. Good. I, I, I right. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll invest money. But if you don't know what the problem is and what you need to focus on, that's part of that free strategy call that we're giving away. By the way, that free strategy call that we're giving away to the first 25 that go to the page and fill this out, right? And they're telling me we have a couple more spots for this. It's almost full, okay? First 25, they go to CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system. Those 25, we're going, I'm gonna help you identify, my team and I are gonna help you identify what that problem actually is and where, we, where you feel like you're lacking and we'll have an honest open conversation on how you feel like you can get better and improve. Okay, so I want to challenge you. You can absolutely do this thing. You can succeed in this career. You can make a ton of money. You can blow this thing up. I do not want you to be a statistic. 92% of insurance agents fail. I do not want that to be you. Okay, again, 92% of insurance agents fail, and I do not want that to be you. I absolutely want to see you succeed. So again, let me say it again. Okay, for the first 25, it's full. All right, I'm gonna add 10. It's full, but I'm gonna add 10. For the first 35, to free up a couple more spots, we're gonna do a free strategy call. But you have to go to CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system for us to do that. Okay. Again, I want to be the dude that helps you get there, that motivates you on this journey. I believe you can be successful. I believe you can make a ton of money. And I want to be one of the people that helps you make it. All right. Again, thank you for being on the webinar. Everybody on here can make 5K a week. Okay. Let me tell you a quick story, right? As people are going to this landing page, CodyAskins.com forward slash sales, S A L E S, because I want to make a lot of sales and not just one system when i was a new agent okay when i when i was a new agent i well I, even even i remember years ago i remember back in probably 2013 2014 thinking if i can just get to five thousand dollars a week my life will be set everything will get easier holy crap that would be amazing that was the thing for me, right? That was the thing for me. And Brian, the answer is no, by the way. So I used to say if I could just get to $5,000 a week, guess what? I got so good at sales that I got to $5,000 a week a few years ago, several years ago. And once I made it, guess what? There's always another level to this thing. There's always another level to this thing. And then when I got to 5K a week, I'm like, well, how do I get to 10K a week? How do I get to 20K a week? How do I get to 30K a week? How do I get to 50K a week? Right? And how do I get to 100K a week? Now I'm actively trying to see, hey, how do we get to $250,000 a week? Hopefully that will motivate you to think a little bigger, to commit, to invest, and to really grow this thing. Again, I believe in you. You can succeed. This is the career. 
This is the industry. You can make five grand a week without making outbound calls, with making inbound calls, door knocking, whatever you want. But you can't do it until you skill up. Again, CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system is put there to make you better. It's got over 400 modules and quizzes to help you and your team skill up and be phenomenal at actually closing deals and selling. Again, thank you for being on. Go check out the new sales system. As always, I'm here to help and I want to see you win. Appreciate you guys. Have a great night. Hey, if you love this video and you're like, man, dude, I love the dashboard. I love all the tracking, but I don't know what numbers to track. I'm going to answer that for you right now. Okay, the video is right there. Check it out. There's the answer. Hey, if you're not tracking your daily activity, my question for you is why? And I'm going to spend the next several minutes showing you exactly why you should. I'm going to sell you that you, on um, the person that's not.